All right, just a quick summary of what we've been watching so far. This is region 3229. That's uh, Avenue most pinnacle of the event that's ongoing. But this event does not stop there. It is reaching across to 3235, which is to the direct left of that or east. And that is in the center. And then slightly left of that is region 3234, which is now showing signs of destabilized by the event. So. This is reaching across three regions. There's definitely a surface change and most likely a proton event coming from 3229. And we are likely to see at least a portion of this activity impact Earth, aside from the flare, of course, which travels at the speed of light. So once the flare happens, we're seeing that impact the Earth within eight seconds of occurring. And here we have Indeed, a um, corona mass ejection from 3229, of course, uh, which is mostly going westward, slightly north, but is expanding substantially quick. So there's a good chance that that might even become a player into the uh, solar weather we might see for Earth. But also a CME is occurring from 32, or yeah, 3235, which is going to impact Earth, we're seeing a slight southern and northward push from a straight on viewpoint, which means that that is going to be a halo effect to how much we can see will rely on SOHO. Uh, and that's going to take, depending on the speed of the CME, uh, an hour to a few hours from now. And then we're seeing activity reaching all the way over to 3234 on the far left or eastern end here. And that is going to, uh, that's still ongoing. So we'll see where that happens with that. But currently I don't see a CME coming from that region itself, but it definitely is having some small isolated flares. So that's pretty much the update currently, but it is ongoing. This is, uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. <laughs>